guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ilona, I'm also a Shikota Associates, I'm an online health and fitness coach and I'm also a bodybuilder and well I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dietitian and I'm not a nutritionist. So, we're here on a Saturday, unusual, but you know I said I would put, put out more content so I will, I just, I get so busy guys. Oh, I was working at 7 o'clock yesterday, which is late for me and I still have to do some more work today in terms of... I need to stop playing with things in terms of clients. So, a busy day for me, but my husband is also working today. So I figured, why not do some work, doing some vlogging, doing some editing and all of that. Um, I uploaded a video onto my second channel yesterday where I did a thousand calorie workout challenge, which it's not my best uh, in terms of editing. It's not as funny. People say it wasn't too bad, but I was just so tired. I couldn't find my funny bone, no matter how hard I tried. Uh, what I've also been doing over the last few days is I have been tracking my blood glucose levels and my blood pressure readings uh not yet a little bit yesterday not so i'm not gonna do it today but basically it is to is for a video that i am probably premiering on monday because basically i recreated foodie beauties and mcdonald's breakfast mukbang and i wanted to just show with data how it impacts the body right and then i'll talk a little bit about the data as well so that should be a really interesting video if that goes down well i might try and do something similar for like nicocard avocado but again that will be on my second channel uh, go check that out if you haven't already shikara tries out it's fun we have a lot of fun over there um, I try out different diets, different exercise programs, etc. and give you my thoughts and opinion on them. But in this video today, we are going to look at Life by Jen, her Thanksgiving grocery haul. I probably am not going to be super critical of this because of the fact that calories don't count on holidays. That's science. I don't make this up. Those are the rules. They don't count on birthdays either. So I'm not going to be hard on her. At the end of the day, it is Thanksgiving. You know, should she probably eat a lot of food? Probably not. But... It is Thanksgiving. My, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell anybody to be dieting on a holiday unless you know you are like a couple of weeks out from a show or something like that. Otherwise, I do think it's you're okay to enjoy yourself in moderation and spending time with family and eating nice food is part of that. Doesn't mean you have to eat six thousand calories. No, you can eat, enjoy yourself in moderation, but at the same time. Just be sensible if you've eaten a lot of food the day after. Just make sure you drink plenty of water. Maybe go for a walk. Like I say, be sensible. Be sensible if you have certain weight loss goals, that is. If you're trying to gain weight, then whatever. But uh, let's get into the video. She's one and a half times speed. I'll link the full video down below. I'm probably going to cut a lot of it out. If it's too fast for you, again, the video is down below in full, should you want to see it. <laughs> Oh, is this a new intro? I haven't seen this actually. I've not seen the videos of her in ages. So let's get back to the festivities of at hand. I don't have any makeup on. Um, we've had a busy few days and makeup has been the least of my worries. So it's been an enjoyable busy. It's been keeping us occupied and not in the throes of our addictions and it's something to put our minds to so it's actually something very positive in our lives. Um, I literally just cut out quite a big chunk. There is the intro, there is Jean being weird, it's her just welcoming to the video talking a little bit about what they've been up to decorating wise then she talks about bruises that people assume she had bruises on her arms um apparently they're not apparently it's veins that have just come up i mean that is possible i don't know too much about them uh it's strange that they are i mean i've seen the pictures so i know what they're talking about it definitely did look like fingers but i don't know like um some of the hypotheses i saw on kiwi farms was that not necessarily that there was altercations between them but maybe him lifting her up and digging the fingers into the arm sounds plausible i don't know what the deal is with their relationship it is it's an interesting one for sure yeah, i can see that for example the lifting out of of her having fallen down or during washing maybe i can see that being possible um i'm sure that people that are larger are quite difficult to try and maneuver because obviously you're not um you're you're malleable right skin moves the body moves so possibly that you have to like dig your fingers in more i can't say i have the experience of lifting somebody that is 600 pounds i don't think i could no i know i couldn't even my best deadlift isn't that much i mean like i've done like my best rack pull is 200 kilos so that's that's a half a deadlift so i've done a 440 pound rack pull which was for one rep and that's 
that was a lot of work. So, yeah, human bodies are not shaped like barbells either. <laughs> yeah, so I just got a bit out, cut a bit out of here. They are gonna do some festivities, and basically, she's saying how uh, it stopped them from not. It, it, from the from not indulging in their addiction which is interesting that she phrases it like that because it doesn't seem like they're ever coming out of it which is problematic if they are kind of dipping in and out of uh relapsing on a clearly fairly regular basis if a few days of not indulging in addiction is a good thing then i don't know i think they're just probably not they're, they're they enable each other don't they so it's going to be very difficult for them to get out of that if they're both clearly as bad as each other. So, you're just getting me all natural, which I don't have a problem with. I think that I'm getting off, I'm rambling. Here we go, Jennifer's rambling. It's a typical Jennifer video because I'm rambling. Um, I don't think you should have to put on a full face of makeup just to get on camera. I enjoy, oops, I just moved the camera because my phone's almost dead so I had to plug it in while I'm recording. Um, I don't feel like I need to put on a full face of makeup and try to make myself look, you know, better than I am because this is just me. I'm all natural and that's what I prefer. I do like to wear makeup at times, but more times than not, I just like to be natural. So. I think for vlogs, I don't know, for myself for vlogs, if you watch my vlogs, you know I hardly ever really wear a lot of wake, wake up, makeup in them. For my reactions, I do. I think it's because it's a little bit more of a serious video, whereas with a vlog, I can understand. If you're just like going about your day, it's like, why, why would I? I suppose, I've previously made the argument that if, you, if it's your job, then you have to take it serious and it is, you have to present yourself. But I think with her, what she's doing is not quite the same as, for example, Chantal sitting down and eating food. I think there's more presentation to that, so with that you should also present yourself, but at the end of the day, if you don't want to wear makeup, I suppose you don't have to. I think you take yourself and your job more serious if you present yourself well, and not necessarily just with making with makeup. You don't have to wear makeup, but like brushing your hair, putting on clean clothes, etc. Oh, okay, so let's get into the festivities of happy- But then saying that, like, I'll, I'll roll out of bed sometimes and I'll get my day started and I've not, I have not necessarily gotten ready or I'll wear clothes from the previous day. So it's, I think different styles of videos re require different forms of attention to detail to how you present yourself. It's probably the way I should say it. Just kidding. Um, pretty much everything you're gonna see we got double of. And most of the things, the reason we got double is because we're going to donate a Thanksgiving meal to somebody. We got a really great deal at Kroger today. So I am also going to, for my second channel, I am going to recreate a Thanksgiving meal. I'm going to make it from scratch. I'm really excited about it. I was supposed to do it this weekend, but um, we can't have people around the UK. I thought you could within your bubble, but apparently you can't. So I've moved it to next weekend and I'm going to get some friends around and I'm just going to make a massive Thanksgiving dinner and I'm super excited. So this is part of the reason why I kind of wanted to watch this video because I'm curious to see how what kind of goes into it, see if what she's doing is traditional, if there's differences, get your thoughts, your opinions, and um, yeah, just kind of get an idea of like what goes into it because I don't know an awful lot about Thanksgiving dinners. So I just know it's turkey, <laughs> turkey and pumpkin pie. That's basically my my knowledge on Thanksgiving dinners. We had coupons that we got in the mail. We got coupons for, I think it was $12 off our entire purchase. Um, and the turkey that we got, because neither of us like turkey, is going to be donated to whoever gets the meal. We're gonna find someone, I wanna find someone who actually needs it, um, that doesn't have anything, rather than someone who just wants it to, because they want extra. So that is our goal, to find someone like that. It's nice that they are giving back to the community. I think charity is not something you should necessarily only do on a holiday. I think you should just do acts of charity all year round by giving back in different ways to different communities or you know you know if you're doing good you know if you're doing good deeds right so but nonetheless it's still a good thing to do better than not doing a good deed right i suppose um so like i said this is the all right i just wanted to make sure she wasn't stuck in the bag because she's over there romping around um so everything you're gonna see there's double of most everything so let's just get into the haul first of all this is and just to be forewarned and just to be to clear for everyone this is not keto friendly or this is not low carb or diet food it's holiday baking holiday thanksgiving day food so do you hear luna i i can't see why people would get critical but at the same time it is holiday it's like i wouldn't expect her to be eat dieting on a holiday let's be real you know i know she doesn't diet all year round clearly that's obvious but out of all the times of the year to give her crap for her diet or lack thereof this at the Thanksgiving dinner is not the day that I, I I understand that she's not going to be eating healthy, and I don't expect I wouldn't expect most I expect most people to not be 
on a strict regime um, during Thanksgiving because it's about fa it's about family, it's about food, it's about togetherness and all of that. So enjoy those moments. They, they, they don't come around a lot. So when it is things like birthdays or when it is things like Christmas, etc., or family get together, weddings, etc., celebration days, just enjoy the day. The diet will you can pick that up the next day again. You don't have to worry about it on the the day of the event of the celebration itself. Okay, so the first thing is sugar. Dean likes sugar in his coffee in the mornings. He was using honey for a while. He claims he does not like it that sweet, but he uses like half a pound of sugar with each cup of coffee, which is fine, you know? Next thing is stuffing. All the stuff we got most of Kroger brand because it's cheaper. So we got to donate a turkey. So I was actually, I'm gonna make, when I'm gonna do my, my day of um, Thanksgiving, I'm gonna make everything from scratch. Hold on, let me just lower it slowly. I was gonna make everything from scratch and I found like, I've, I've started to collect recipes and I was gonna make my stuffing. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna get a turkey with giblets in them and then make the stuffing from breadcrumbs and make the gravy, make the gravy from the turkey juices. And by boiling down the giblets in like a, just to create a stock as well as like add some stock just for a bit of flavor. And I was gonna do the stuffing I found a recipe to, that does it with like uh, bread that you stick in the oven. I can't remember the, really the top of my head for the rest of it, but it looked really nice. It sounded really nice. Tell me how you do your stuffing, or if there is a way I should do stuffing that's better. Because I might, I might recreate some subscriber recipes, and then I'll be sure to shout you out if that's the case. Flavored stuffing because. We are not having turkey for Thanksgiving, we are having a rotisserie chicken. Um, the guy's sending me them, and they'll be here probably the beginning next week. Oh. Okay, there's four of them. Awesome. The little dog is well cute. Look at his little face. And I, I guess the sense of, does she need samples? Oh my god, he's really anxious though. He's completely shaking. Look at him. I smelled the, the, the big bags that she had yeah, in there. That's it. She like, said that you had found something for me, especially the, for me. And that's Bud Fire Beach. Okay, yeah. I love it. Have you ever smelled it? No. You got him? Yeah. Hi, Mel. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. Hi. Oh, there's my nose hole. Yep, you found my nose hole. I don't have my mask on, huh? Say hi. Say hi to the camera. Oh, he's really cute. He looks a little bit like a bat, doesn't he? He looks like a little, like um, a flying fox. Do you call them flying foxes? They're like the really large fruit bats. Get rid of my logo. He's really shaky though, very anxious. Hi. Say hi, Gizzy. This is a gizmo. This is a little gizmo. <laughs> He is a neighbor dog. Okay, next thing is I got some club crackers. I plan on making a pot of chili. I don't know about this weekend, but maybe next week. Once the Thanksgiving stuff is depleted and emptied out of the freezer or refrigerator. Why would you need crackers for a chili? Genuine, genuine question. I thought chili was like rice and beans and stuff with ground meat, no? Why would you need the crackers? Just out of curiosity, because maybe I'm missing some trick here. Next, I got eggs. A dozen and a half of eggs. All right, speaking with the chili seam, I got three packs of the chili seasoning for the chili. We got two of the instant potatoes to put in the... So lazy, innit? Everything is just from a sachet. The sachet seasoning, sachet potato, sachet stuffing. How hard is it to boil, boil some potatoes and mash it down? It's gonna taste so much nicer as well. Like mashed potatoes is the easiest thing to do. You just boil potatoes. You can even overboil them. Mash it down, put some cream in there if you want, put some milk in there if you want, put some nutmeg in there. It's nice, a bit of nutmeg in there. I put, I put in my mashed potatoes, I put double cream, some mature cheddar, a little bit of whole grain mustard, nutmeg, and egg yolk. It's very nice, very, very nice. You give away box? Uh, they're for giving away. I suppose that makes sense if you're going to give away. You do want to have stuff that people can just use there and then on the spot. You don't want to be giving foods that are quick quick perishables but for, if you're doing it at home for yourself you could make your own mashed potatoes like i've never even had mashed potatoes from a packet i can't imagine that it tastes even remotely nice but perhaps i'm missing something out there as well two containers of the kroger whipped topping also for the chili i got three pounds of ground beef this is the 80 20. next i got a betty crocker cake mix i have a recipe that i want to do for a video making sugar cookies with a cake mix and greek yogurt so be watching for that. Coming up during the month of December. That definitely isn't keto friendly. So I'm guessing the diet is off even after the Thanksgiving. <laughs> we got two packages of brown syrup rolls. Two corn muffin mixes. What's that? Is that for cornbread, is it? I was gonna make my own cornbread. Corn muffins, so is that cornbread? I was gonna make my own cornbread. 
I haven't even looked at the recipe, but I'm guessing you use like um, maizena. What do you call that in English? You make cakes out of a polenta. Like, is it like a polenta mix that you make cornbread out of? I wonder. Two cornbread mixes. French fried onions for the uh, green bean casserole. Oh. Those, those, why would you have pre fried onions in a. to throw in a casserole? Would you not use real onions? Those are the kind of onions you put on like hot dogs and stuff, innit? Shredded mozzarella. Low, low, low moisture, part skim. Hmm. Sour cream. All right, now a bunch of canned goods. We have got, all right, so, first we have cream style corn, two of those. Ugh, cream corn is gross. In my opinion, I don't like it. Two of the cream of mushroom soup. Is anything not tinned? Is this all for giveaway? This is such a... Um, this is not how it, I imagine in my head a Thanksgiving dinner being made. In my head I imagine people slaving away. When I'm gonna do my dinner, I'm literally gonna start on Saturday. So I have a lot of food that's gonna be pre-cooked and ready to go. As well as Sunday, because if, I've, if I'm gonna stick a turkey in the oven that's gonna be in there for most of the day, I, I need to pre-cook things, so I'm definitely going to start on Saturday with a lot of things and have literally like a whole day of baking. I'm really looking forward to it. I love doing. F I love baking food like that, especially for cooking for people. I absolutely adore cooking for people. There is just something. There's just something so nice about preparing food for somebody else. It's like sharing a piece of you. You know, it's like it's true love. If I cook for you, I care for you. This means like you are you're dear to me if I cook food for you. <laughs> Jeez, I can go be. Golden sweet corn, pinto beans, we got a jelly cranberry sauce. Jelly? Really? That's gonna make my... I saw a recipe on... a recipe that sounds quite nice where it's like cooked down with like cloves and cinnamon with um, orange rind. So that sounds quite nice. A whole berry cranberry sauce. Diced Italian style tomatoes. Cut yams. Literally not 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 even fresh potatoes, not fresh sweet potatoes to stick in the oven. Wow, this is really disappointing. I was actually quite I was actually kind of looking forward to seeing this haul. Like, oh, this is going to be interesting, but it's I clearly had higher hopes than what's coming out. That's not English. I said my expectations too high is what I meant to say. Everything is tinned. Every single last item. I, I, to me, it defeats the point of doing like a whole dinner. Like, why would you just not cook some of it from scratch? It's gonna be so much nicer. Hey, folks, have our favorite granola. The, insert how you say it here, the Balba. Boba granola. Another diced tomato for the chili. Another pinto bean for the chili. Another diced tomato for the chili, again. Gravy. I mean, I can understand people not making their own gravy because it is quite tricky making a gravy. You either have to like boil down some stock with whatever wine and seasoning you want in there, which takes a while. Then sometimes you have to make a roux sauce to make like it, making a gravy, a nice gravy, it does take time. It's not very easy. And especially if you make a gravy from scratch and then you make your stock from scratch, like you need to have the bones and the drippings and the vegetables and it takes time. Like to reduce to reduce the flavor down for it to be strong enough, it does take, you're looking at maybe like six to eight hours of boiling down bones basically. So I get buying a gravy, That's I understand that. Although that doesn't look particularly nice though, that looks like baby food. <laughs> gravy, chicken gravy, a package of Pazel cookies. Shredded cheddar cheese. <laughs> this we had a coupon for 50 cents off and it was on sale, so it made it like a dollar fifty for this smoked sausage. Butter. We got breakfast sandwiches for Thanksgiving morning. We got a bacon croissant and a Oh, is that like has that got like egg and bacon inside it already? Or is it just flavoured like that? Is this is that croissant just flavoured? 390 calories per croissant. I mean it is Thanksgiving breakfast, but I don't know, why would you not just get a real croissant? Just get a fresh, get the, even the oven ones that you just have to whack in the oven. Get a croissant like that, fry up your whole own bacon, fry up your own eggs and stick that in there. That's gonna be much nicer than this, surely. 
It's just so lazy. It's so, so lazy. The fact that they're not even bothered about heating a crust on top in the oven and frying off some bacon to stick fresh in there. Wow. It's quite, it's quite remarkable how this sort of stuff exists. I mean, obviously you have like tin food in the UK and stuff like that as well. But I don't think you can make a, you can make a whole Christmas dinner from tin food. Maybe you could actually. You probably could to be fair. But stuff like this you can't get in the UK. Not like this. Sausage croissant. Vanilla caramel coffee creamer. French style green beans. Frozen vegetables, not a huge fan. Spinach is alright. That's pretty much it. Two packages of brown and served sausages. Oh, the sausages look horrendous. We got some Cherry 7-Up and some regular stuff. Yo, Cherry 7-Up is fucking nice though. I've had it a couple of times. You can't really get it over here. It's very difficult to get hold of. But the few times I've had it, I've very much enjoyed it. Very, very partial to a Cherry 7-Up. If usually if I see it, I will buy it. Despite I'm not a believer in drinking calories, I will drink the calories of a Cherry 7-Up. They had them four. When you buy four, you get them for 99 cents. So we'll donate a 7-Up to go in the box as well. Two packages of mini marshmallows. Is this nice? Is this a thing you do, putting the marshmallows on sweet potatoes on the... Because I've seen people do it before, so what do you do? Do you like... In my head, this is how I would... This is in my head, I would do... do I... Let me talk English. In my head, how I would prepare sweet potatoes for Thanksgiving, and I know you guys do them with marshmallows. This is how I would do it. I would first get sweet potatoes and oven roast them. And then just hollow out the meat from the skin. Um, because I find sweet potatoes nice like that. Then I would... Uh, mash them up into a nice smooth puree with some cinnamon some maybe like a dash of vanilla flavoring maybe it might not need it because if i'm going to put f some marshmallows on there it might be just as sweet salt pepper butter no oh no no pepper salt butter maybe a little bit of cream just a dash just to make it more silky maybe an egg yolk again for silkiness and then what i would do is i would Place marshmallows on top and then oven roast it so you have like the melted browned marshmallows and they have like the sweet almost like a pure like sweet pie puree underneath it but it would still have a hint of savouriness with the salt and the butter which I think would work because it kind of would balance out the sweetness a little bit just having some salt in there but yeah I think cinnamon cinnamon and yeah I don't know is that how you do it that's in my head how I would prepare it comment your recipe down below for some upcoming videos Kernel corn, another gravy, more diced tomatoes, kidney beans, tomato sauce, another kidney bean, <laughs> another tomato sauce. She gonna put two of those tins of. To is that is that like puree tomato? Is it a sauce? Because tomato puree that's a lot of tomato puree to put. Even though that's like a kilo or two kilos of mince, that's a lot of tomato puree to put in there. Um, but maybe you can keep it though. You can keep it, but. I wouldn't... If she puts two whole tins of tomato puree in there, there's going to be some uh, very strong, strong tomato flavoured... I was going to say curry. Ta What's it called? Not tacos, not curry. Chili. A canister of hot cocoa mix. Milk chocolate baking chips. Oh, by the way, I was saying before on the reaction for on OPS about making your own banana bread. I'm actually making my own banana bread here today. It will be up in a different vlog. I'll title it accordingly if you want to see how I make a low calorie, low carb, high protein banana bread. Very, very easy to do. I'm literally going to start making it after I've done this reaction. I will also do the part two to OPS. I just haven't had the time to do it because the last time I did it, it took me a very long time to edit and film. And I've just literally not had the time to do so. So I will probably maybe try and do that next week. But keep an eye out for the the low carb, high protein banana bread. It's just taking me a while to make because one, I have bananas that you, they need to kind of go brown. If you have brown bananas, they are much better for baking in terms of flavor. And then avoid them. <laughs> And then I've had to get new bananas and I've just, they are now starting to like get pretty discolored. And they're not extremely discolored, they're not completely brown, but they're starting to get quite freckled, heavily freckled with some patches of brown. And that's kind of what you want if you are gonna bake with bananas because they're much sweeter then. We decided to take the lazy route and we bought our- Really, the lazy route with the full prep we've seen so far, you, we can tell the amount of effort that's gonna go into the baking here. Chick, chick, ding, ding, 
ding, bing. You know, it is literally every single thing is just microwavable. Not as there's not an ounce of effort is being put into this meal, which is kind of sad because, like, I don't know. I think it is sad because, like, food is nice. Eating nice food is nice. This is just such a such a waste of a of, of a celebration day. You know what I mean? You mean pies? We got a pecan and a pumpkin. Well, because one pie is not enough for two people. Yeah, easy. Gina's gonna be making his yummy smelling goods on the stove again. So we got some apples for that. And a bag of cuties. And Gina's going to sneak in right behind me and show you the turkey we got. We got this bird for free. Whoa. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. Whoa, that's a massive turkey. Is that for two people? Like, I know the turkey's not for two people, but what are they gonna do with like a turkey that size? That surely is enough to like feed 20 people, no? It's very huge. Big. And we'll be donating that because, like I said, we don't eat turkey. But oh, okay, 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 that's good. Okay, so they are actually donating the turkey, that's good. I was gonna say, like, what would you do with all that meat? You'll be eating turkey for the rest of the year. Um, but with all of our coupons and after everything was taken off, our total came to just over $100 for everything. That's pretty good. That's well cheap. But then it's all tinned, isn't it? So you're looking like, what, 50 cents here and a pound there, dollar there. For both of our both sets of Thanksgiving meals and then the turkey and uh, I think Jean got cigarettes. Um, yeah, and all this stuff, just over $100 and we got like $50 off. I'm sure some alcohol was bought, let's be real after everything was combined. So very good deal for our Thanksgiving dinner. All right, that's my Thanksgiving haul for 2020. And until then, I hope you guys have a safe and happy Thanksgiving and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone. Alrighty, so she's talking about decorating for Christmas. I'm gonna do that on Monday. I was supposed to do it today, but again, it's 11 o'clock. I need to go and eat, I have things to do, a house to clean, videos to edit, plans to write. So that's not gonna happen today, but I will do it on Monday because Monday is usually a day off for me as well, or I try to keep it as free as possible. If you're interested in that vlog, keep an eye for that. I'm vlogging quite a lot at the moment because Christmas pennies. We want those AdSense coins. I'm not even gonna pretend that it's not like that. So I'm doing a bit more effort in vlogging because I know that there's gonna be a slightly greater monetary reward hence I'm filming as well on a Saturday I didn't have to but I want that coin basically so I'm gonna go I am gonna eat my breakfast I'm gonna have for breakfast some protein oats with egg whites and peanut butter and dark chocolate I rediscovered this the other day and I've been enjoying it ever since so if you're curious to see how I make that make sure you keep an eye out for that vlog lots of vlogging guys I vlog a lot I, they're mostly me cooking and eating for the most part and training but if that interests you make sure to check it out I'm gonna go. Thanks a lot for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. Dislike the video. If you dislike the video, let me know down below why. Maybe I can learn something or maybe we'll disagree to disagree, which is fine too. And on that note, I'm gonna go. Have a good weekend and I'll talk to you later. Ciao.